Okay, continuing on with question number six from October 2017, S1. Um, the question about discrete random variables. Now, six part F says, write down the probability distribution of R. It tells us about the discrete random variable R represents the number of times the die is rolled in this game. Now, this game, remember, it can, uh, you get a score that's on the dice. This is a four-sided dice. You can... On this dice, you've got an equally possible likely outcomes of getting one, two, three, and four. Each of them have a probability of a quarter. But if you throw the dice and you get a two, three, and a four, the number that shows on the dice is your score. Okay. And if you get a one on the dice, then you have to roll it again. All right. If you get another one on the dice, then your score is zero. If you get uh, any other number, then you add your original score of one, your original uh, what the dice showed as one, plus the number on your dice. So basically, there's two different possible uh, number of times you can throw the dice, one or two. Okay. So the possible values of R are one or two. So you just well, I actually need to make a table. I'll just do it anyway. You've only got basically two different possible um, ways of getting numbers on the dice. I mean, sorry, two, two, two different uh, possible number of throws of the dice. Okay, either one or two. You throw it once or twice. Okay, so the probability that, oops, the probability that R equals R. Okay, the probability that it gets thrown once is if you get one out of a one, okay, a one when you throw the dice, which is probabilities of getting a quarter. Um, sorry, the other way around. The probability of throwing it once is if you get a two, three, or four, because you, you just get that score. So you get a two, three, or four, so that's three quarters, okay? And the probability of being thrown twice is if you get a one on the dice and you have to throw it again, okay? So that probability of being thrown, thrown twice is a quarter. So that's basically, that's fine. That's your answer for part F. Then it says the random variable y is equal to r plus 0 0.5. So we could, if you want, even make another table. No very straight. So you got uh, your probability of y, which is 2r plus 0 0.5. So that's 2.5 and that's 4.5. Okay, and show that ey equals E X. Okay, so show that the probability of Y is the same as the probability, the, the expected value of Y is equal to the expected value of X. Okay, so now let's have a look at this one. We know the expected value of X is equal to 3. That's what we found earlier in the question. Expected value of X is equal to 3. We found that in this part of the question. Okay, so let's try and sort this out. So if y is equal to 2r plus 0 0.5, then the expected value of y is going to be the expected value of 2r plus 0 0.5. Okay, so now let's find out what the expected value of r is. The expected value of r is going to be 1 times 3 quarters plus 2 times 1 quarter. Okay, so that's going to be 3 quarters plus 2 quarters, which is 5 over 4. So the expected value of R is equal to 5 over 4. All right, so the expected value of R is equal to 5 over 4. So if we remember from what we learned before, this is going to be the same as expected value or 2 times expected value of R plus 0 0.5. Okay, it's like a transformation of the expected value of R. It's the expected value, which is the mean, is affected by both multiplication and addition. So 2 times expected value of R plus 0 0.5 will give me the same thing as this. So 2 times the expected value of R, so 2 times 5 over 4 plus a half, which is 0 0.5. That's going to give me 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which is 3. So therefore, we've shown that the expected value of y is equal to the expected value of x because they're both equal to 0 0.3 is equal to 3 sorry okay so that's part g of the question okay that's supposed to be a 4.5 it looks like a 9.5 okay 
Now, I think this next part is going to come in useful in the next part of the question. Okay, so the probability that y equals y. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the same thing here. That's going to be three quarters and that's going to be one quarter. Okay, so next. Okay, so for part F here, we are told that um, the game is played once and we want to find the probability that X is greater than Y. Okay, so we've got all the information from the previous tables that we might need um, over here. So we've got to find the probability that X is greater than Y if the game is played one time. Okay, so now if the play, game is played one time, there are two possible um, situations. Okay, the first situation is where the, you only had one roll of the dice. Okay, when R equals one. Okay, when R equals one, we want to find the probability that X is greater than Y. Okay, so first of all, when R equals one, Y is equal to 2.5. Okay, now, what's the probability of X being greater than Y if Y equals 2.5? Now, if there's only one roll of the dice, then the score on the dice can either be um, two or three or four. Okay, um, so what's the probability of you getting a score that's, um, and, and this will actually be the probability of X as well. So X would also be two, three or four because you get the score, X the score is this, what comes up on the dice. So when Y equals 2.5, Okay, that's when, when you have one, one throw of the dice. Then X can either be 2, 3 or 4. So there's two of those which are greater than 2.5. So we need to find the probability of when X is equal to 3 plus when the probability when X is equal to 4. Okay, so that's going to be a quarter plus a quarter, which is a half. Okay, that's uh, the probability when R equals 1. Then you've also got another situation when R is equal to 2, when it's, there's two rolls of the dice. When there's two rolls of the dice, then Y is equal to 4.5. Okay, and there's only way, one way of getting X as 5. There's only one way of getting X as 5 because um, you get, on the first roll of the dice, you have to get a 1. Okay, the first roll of the dice, you have to get a 1. Okay, and the second roll of the dice, you have to get a four. Okay, so the first, the probability of getting um, X equals five is going to be basically on the first throw, you're getting a one, uh, a one, which is a quarter. And the second throw, you're getting a, a, five, a, a four, sorry, which is also a quarter. So it's one over 16. Okay, so you're going to basically have to... Um, this is a probability of, yeah, so you've got to add to that 1 over 16. So you've got to add to that, so you're going to have a half plus 1 over 16, which is going to be, that's over 16, 8 over 16 plus 1 over 16, which is 9 over 16. So there's our answer for that part of the question. Okay, so it's a bit tricky here. You've got to think about the different scenarios. But if the game is played once, you're either going to have one roll of the dice. That's if you've got a two, three or a four. Or you're going to get have um, two rolls of the dice. In that case, you could end up getting a zero and you can end up getting a five. Okay, so if you have one roll of the dice, then you've got to think of what's the probability of X being greater than y and y is equal to 2.5 with one roll of the dice with one roll of the dice x is e y is equal to 2.5 okay so you've got to find what's the probability of the x value being more than 2.5 well that's when the score is more than 2.5 which is when it's three or four so the probability of being three is a quarter the probability of being a four is a quarter that's a half okay and then you look at the other scenario and the other scenario is when you have two rolls of the dice that means when you got one on the first row okay and then the next throw of the dice, whatever you get there, if it's a one, you're going to get a zero, which is going to be less than the 4.5. When you have two rolls of the dice, then the value of y is 4.5. Okay, because we were told the relationship between y and r. 
Okay, so the value of y is 4.5 with two rolls of the dice. Okay, so what's the only way of getting more than 4.5 for x? It's when x is 5. How do you get a score of 5? When you get a 1 on the first dice and you get a 4 on the second dice, the probability of that is a quarter times a quarter is 1 over 16. So now this outcome and this outcome, we have to add them together. So that's how you end up with 9 over 16. It's going to be 1 over, half, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 16, which is 9 over 16. And there's the end of that question.